Hey everybody, I'm here to introduce a new type of data structure. Let's say we wanted to store numbers in a tree-like structure where each number has two branches leading to another number, etc. as pictured here. The bottom values are empty. In order to recreate this data structure, let's make a data definition containing the number we want to store, the left and the right branches. In order to hold this information, Let's use a structure. I've defined a tree of numbers to be a structure containing a number and two trees of numbers to represent the two branches. But wait, if we try to define an example of a tree of numbers, it, we will never stop writing the example because each tree of number requires two more trees of numbers, which requires two more trees of numbers, and so on. We need a base case or the empty values shown at the bottom of the diagram. Let's make an empty structure called a leaf that indicates the end of a tree and contains no values. We've redefined our tree structure to be one of two structures. It's either a leaf structure that contains no values and represents the base case, or it is a tree with two branches and a number. Let's see some examples of our data structure. Here we've defined an empty tree to be a make leaf structure. Here we've defined tree 1 to be a tree with three and two empty trees. And here we've defined a more complicated tree. Let's make a template for this data structure. We can create a template for this data and don't have to have a specific function in mind. Let's start with the signature. It takes a tree of num with an unknown output. Let's use a cond to consider the two cases a tree of num can be. According to our data definition, it can be either a leaf structure or a tree structure. We use the built-in predicates for these structures. Notice how the structure of the template follows the structure of the data closely. Now, for structure templates, we use the accessor functions to access all the available data. The leaf structure has no accessor functions since it stores no data but the tree structure has three. We can access these three pieces of data when we know that the structure is a tree. Here we have accessed all three pieces of data in the tree structure. The tree num accessor returns a number, but the tree left and tree right accessors return a tree of num. Thus, we have to process them accordingly. This is our final template. Since the tree left and tree right accessors return a tree of num, we have to process them as such. Let's use this template to add up all the numbers in a tree of num. As per the design recipe, we have our signature and purpose statement. This function takes a tree of num and returns a number. And we have some examples. Let's copy and paste our template and change the name. Make sure to change the name inside the template as well. In the leaf case, we have no numbers to add up. Thus, we can put zero as we see on our example. In the tree case, we have a number to add, and we need to add this number to all the numbers in the left tree and all the numbers in the right tree. Our add up tree function will add up all the numbers in the left and right trees, according to the signature and purpose statement. So all we need to do is add these three numbers together. And that's it, our tests pass. I hope this video on tree structures helped, and until next time.